Hello MedGadget readers, uh, my name is Ivor, I'm uh, an emergency physician and I used to write for MedGadget in the past. Uh, so it is a great, great pleasure and honor for me to be able to present um, my medical device on the world's greatest medtech blog. Uh, in 2010 I started a small company called Ivor Medical to develop a patent pending invention of my own. Uh, which is intended to be used in cardiopulmonary resuscitation um, and we are now finishing our first line of products called CPR Pro or short CPRO which basically consists of a um, mobile application for mobile phones uh, for cardiopulmonary resuscitation and a, a holder, a cradle for uh, mobile phones which holds the phone and which you use to perform uh, chest compression. Um, so I'm going to, in the short video, give you an overview of these products. Of course, you are all well aware of the importance of CPR and the fact that CPR alone can double or even triple the victim's chances of surviving a sudden cardiac arrest. One of the most important aspects of CPR are, of course, chest compressions chest compressions which are performed according to international guidelines which determine the correct rate and depth of compressions again according to evidence and um, these so-called good quality chest compressions are actually hard to perform even for professionals and yet alone bystanders and laymen and there are numerous problems uh, in performing chest compressions uh, first of all there is an issue of fatigue so this is not an easy task and if you pro perform it for a prolonged period of time you will get tired, your hands, your wrists, your um, uh, palms, your fingers will start aching, you will need to slow down or push softer or even stop which is really really bad for the patient. Second uh, problem is that you, don't have you don't actually don't have uh, any insight, if you're not using any extra equipment you don't have any insight in your actions so you uh, don't know how you are performing and if you are performing, performing compressions correctly and if you can improve them and uh, so if you add all the excitement, drama and panic and fear of this, uh, of this uh, emergency in the picture then you, you can imagine why uh, we have a problem um, so CPR Pro line of products are here to um, allow you to perform good quality chest compressions and to actually offer the best chances of survival to the victims. I will demonstrate our CPR Pro application, uh, which is available for all iPhones and iPod touches, but it will soon be available also for Android devices. You start the app, of course, by tapping on its icon. The app loads into horizontal view and it can be used for several things. First of all, the app can use, be used to, uh, to learn, to educate yourself about CPR and CPR skills. So you tap on the TV icon to get the list of all the available educational videos. More are coming soon, but for now we have basic life support and recovery position. So let's start, for example, basic life support. This is a really nice educational structural video which guides you through all the steps of, of the CPR um, and uh, BLS algorithm and teaches you about each step, what are the pre proper techniques and skills. Of course, it also teaches you about uh, delivering good chest compressions. Um, you can watch these videos with your friends and with your fa families to refresh your knowledge, to learn uh, uh, new skills, but also there are numerous examples of people using such content on their phones to really help them also in real emergencies, to remind them uh, what, to, what to do and how to do it correctly. So let's get back to the, to the main feature of the app, and the main feature is actually its ability to help you, help you while you are training, but also help you in real emergencies, help you deliver good quality chest compressions, do good quality CPR, and uh, the app can do that by providing CPR coaching and CPR prompts and CPR feedback. 
you can see that it has two modes uh, 32 mode will be used uh, when you are uh, combining chest compressions and rescue breaths and the pro mode is used for hands only CPR so if you are not delivering rescue breaths or uh, for professionals when the airway of the patient is secured when you are uh, delivering ventilations um, and you want to have a correct rate of also ventilations the app provides uh, prompts for this so you do not hyperventilate the patients which is uh, often seen I will just turn up the volume and we will start the 32 mode and you will see how the app guides you to do the right thing. Deliver 30 chest compressions. Okay, so what you heard at the beginning was CPR coaching, female voice, which told you what to do. You need to deliver 30 chest compressions. After that, the beeping sound started. This is the metronome sound which is in sync with the screen, flickering of the screen. And all of this is happening at the rate of 100 times a minute. So this is the rate you should be delivering your chest compressions. You can even put the phone beside the victim and now start delivering chest compressions just following this metronome sound. However, the app can do even more. Uh, if the phone somehow moves with your hands, the app can give you a feedback, give you uh, information about your actual movements. So I'll show you this now while moving the phone in the air and later on the mannequin. So let me start delivering chest compressions with the phone. Okay, so on the right you see it is counting the number of my uh, compressions. And on the left it is calculating the rate, the actual rate of my movements. So now watch what will happen when we come to 30. Give two rescue breaths. Breathe. Breathe. Continue chest compressions. So as you saw, uh, since it is calculating the number of my compressions, when we reach 30, we are in 32 mode, the female voice, uh, voice instructed me and coached me to deliver two rescue breaths, but also she instructed me on the rate and on the, on the length of these rescue breaths, and then afterwards she instructed me to continue chest compressions. On the top you will see that we have a stopwatch running all the time. This is really something convenient so you are more aware of the time and maybe the need to switch rescuers or check the patient, give drugs uh, and so on if you're a professional rescuer. Anytime I want I can switch to a pro mode of operation. So I'm going down here and switching to a pro mode. Okay, now you will hear a different sound also. There it is. Okay. So you have a metronome sound beneath for chest compressions and every 6 to 7 seconds you hear another sound. This sound is a sound for ventilation. So this is the sound coaching you to deliver 10, uh, 10 ventilations uh, to a patient who is intubated. Also of course this mode features the same feedback option. So if I'm moving the phone it will count my compressions, the number of my compressions and it will also show me on the left the rate of my compressions and the green color of course indicates that I am inside a range which is appropriate. This is the pro mode so the app is not stopping at 30, 30 compressions. Okay, one cool feature for the end I want to show you now. Uh, so this was let's say a resuscitation we did or a training we did. Um, the nice thing is that the app records all the data. So if I go here and, and then I choose compressions data, I will see a lot of files. The files are automatically named according to date and time. We can re rename them if, the, if you want. But we can also, of course, review this, this data. And this is a really something useful for debriefings, for example. Um, so you can see what you did right. What, is there a place for improvement, for example? I can here see the duration of my CPR, the average rate of my CPR, hands-off time, meaning the time I didn't do anything, the phone was uh, was still, 
and I can see also the rate for each compression. And the, th the cool thing is I can email or I can sync this data with my with my uh, with my computer, so I can I don't know you know um, import the data into Excel uh, and do some statistical analysis. This is really something really really useful. So the app allows you to learn, allows you to practice, but also helps you in a real emergency by offering you guidance and uh, showing you uh, actually uh, information about your actual actual movements and your actual uh, actions. And also, of course, allows you to do debriefings afterwards. And these are all things which American Heart Association, European Resuscitation Council and other such bodies in other countries in the world recommend you should implement um, if you're a professional you should implement this in your institution so this is a quick overview of uh, the app I will now show you how the app works on a mannequin but also with a CPR Pro Cradle there are several ways of using the CPR Pro application for training or in a real emergency the simplest way is to use CPR prompts only, so placing the phone next to the victim so you can hear the metronome and see the uh, flickering screen, and you just follow this metronome sound uh, performing chest compressions at the correct rate. In the case of two or more rescuers, you can enter the pro mode, so one rescuer can keep following the chest compressions prompt, while the other follows the ventilation prompt. To take advantage of the CPR feedback features of the app, the phone needs to move with your hands. The simplest way to do that is to put it inside your hands. Give two rescue breaths. The best way to use the CPR Pro application is inside the CPR Pro Cradle. The Cradle has many benefits on its own. Addressing the CPR fatigue problem, it allows you to keep your hands in a natural position so you can perform chest compressions for longer periods of time because you're getting less tired. Also you can see the application's screen more clearly and your phone is protected inside the Cradle. Two rescue breaths. Breathe. Breathe. Continue chest compressions. I would like to invite you uh, to visit our website and learn more about our products. Uh, your um, ideas, your comments are welcomed and we are very open for all sorts of business and research collaboration. Um, as part of this promotion on MedGadget, we will be offering 20 promo codes to download our app for free. So please continue reading MedGadget for further instructions. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you MedGadget team for this opportunity. And I wish you all a happy and healthy 2011.